Hello everyone and welcome to Sundos Communication. This is our news corner for today. And we have the news of protesters demanding the release of FIJ journalist Daniel Ojuku. A banner demanding the release of Daniel Ojuku during a protest at the first headquarters in Abuja on Thursday. Some civil society organization and journalists stormed the first headquarters in Abuja on Thursday, demanding the release of Daniel Ojuku, a detained journalist with the Foundation of Investigative Journalism. The protesters include a legal practitioner, Deji Adeyanju, a pro-democratic activist and a presidential candidate of the African Action Congress in the 2023 general election. Ojuku went missing on Wednesday, May 1st with his phone number turned off, leaving his whereabouts unknown to his colleagues and friends. And despite the initial effort by the FIJ to file a missing persons report at the police stations in the area where Ojuku was last seen, his location remained undisclosed. Condemning the act, Soyombo said, We will keep doing everything we can behind the scene, adding that the adoption is annoying. The CSO condemns Daniel's unlawful detention as unconstitutional, illegal, immoral, and unbecoming in a country that claims to practice democracy. The protesters are calling for the immediate release of the detained journalist. On our other news, we have the story of former aviation minister Adid Sikira arranged pleads not guilty and gets a bail of 100 million naira. A former aviation minister, Adid Sirika, had pleaded not guilty to the alleged corrupt practices involving about 2.7 billion brought against him by the federal government. He was arraigned before Justice Sivanus Origi at the Federal High Court in Abuja along with his daughter Fatima, his son-in-law July Suleyama, and a firm the daughter and the son-in-law also pleaded not guilty to the counts that were read to them. Following their denial of the fraud charges, their respective lawyers moved for the application of their bail, which was granted by the judge. Justice Origi admitted the three defendants on bail for 100 million naira and two shorties each in the like sum. The shorties must be responsible citizens with verifiable home address why one must have any landed property with a certificate of occupancy signed by the FCT minister. The judge ordered that the defendant must not travel out of the country within express permission of the court. If unable to perfect the bail condition, the justice ordered that they should be remanded in prison custody till the time of perfection of bail conditions. The court fixed the 10th of June 2024 for the commencement of the trial. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC had on Wednesday said it would arrail Sirica and three others. The sheet that was cited by Chanel's television allegedly stated that Sirica used his position as a minister to fraudulently award contracts to his daughter, his son-in-law, and his associate. In February, his brother Abubakar Sirica was arrested over an alleged contract fraud in the aviation ministry. During his tenure as minister, Sirica faced allegations against conspiracy abuse of office, diversion of public fund, contract inflation, criminal breach of trust, and money laundering totaling $8 billion. The EFCC has revealed that the funds in dispute are related to four aviation contracts awarded by the former minister to a company which is owned by his junior brother. And that is all for the news today. Thank you and see you soon.